Welcome to another beautiful episode of the program Improved Seeds on your agricultural television ARC and Abuja, where you are informed on the best ways and programs related to farm. I am Hilda Homsem Fantua. And on today's special package, we are at Ngwa, at Ngwandadi, Kwampan local government area of Plateau State, where young and vibrant farmers all assembled with their improved varieties of food products, harvested, and livestock to compete among each other with the aim of enlightening other community sisters to key into the initiative, as agriculture is the mainstay of the nation. Hence, all hands must be on deck to make it outstanding. The event had great men and women in attendance who were excited and congratulated the initiative of the Ngwandadi Business and Economic Forum for organizing the second edition of the Agri Show. The occasion was opened and blessed by the Longmai of Gumai Nation, His Royal Highness Ms. Martins Mududre Shaldas II, who embraced and appreciated the concept and calls on the ancestors to bless the fruits of the land. <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Rule, <laughs> The chairman of the occasion, Professor Sebastian Memoko, and Abunanda Nimvel, who was impressed and said, there is season for everything. We plow, he nurtures, and we harvest, all praise be to God. He further encouraged the youths and competitors to embrace the spirit of oneness, even as they compete with each other. It was commendable to pick up the challenge and learn from each other. This is a very important occasion. First of all, it's an occasion of thanksgiving to God. Because it's the Almighty God Himself who said, as long as the earth exists, season of sowing and reaping and harvesting will always be there. So He is the one that has given us these blessings of harvest. And I want to thank the youth of Angwandai, led by the visionary. Accountant General of Plateau State, Mr. Cyril Senyil. He's a man of great vision. He has started this event, and as he, has, he said in his speech, it will continue, it will improve. And there's no giving up. Even the things we are seeing in our front now, shows that this area is an area of great ag agricultural potential. And I note that the problem we have with youth unemployment is because of the lack of proper attention being given to agriculture. And what has taken place here 
and what we had the chairman of the UCR said shows that they have a vision to turn agriculture into a great blessing for this, not only for this village, but for the whole state and the nation at large. So we are, we are happy. We'll do everything to encourage you. We'll join you in praying to God that this area will achieve your vision for it to be the Dubai of Africa. I know that most guests have a lot of events. We were with His uh, Royal Majesty and um, he briefed us on his agenda, so I would not like to take too much time uh, saying much, but to wish that this event, having been started, will go on smoothly, successfully to the end. Being an agricultural show, it's a competition the best farmers in the various categories. Therefore, there are judges. These judges are led by Chief Gideon Tandam from Lantang, who is a very great agricultural expert in Plateau State. He is the leader of the judges. Mr. Dabang James, is also a judge and Mr. Joseph Dangwan is also a judge. Three judges. They are the ones that will determine the best farmers in the various categories. And we, we trust that their judgments will be fair and will encourage all the farmers. And I also want to ask that when the time comes and the guests are asked, we will be able to purchase one or two of the other things that are on display. Thank you very much and may God bless. Professor Garba Hamidu Sharubutu, Executive Secretary, Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, Abuja, who was the guest speaker, spoke on the need for the continuity of the program and wish all youths to be up and doing. Enough of blaming the government, rather, unity, dedication, respect, and hard work is the strength of every developing community. He further encouraged that they should participate in everything that will add value and develop the community and state as a whole. Your Highness, Your Majesty, the long and of course, all Gamaya Nation. The chairman of the occasion, ably represented. I decided specifically to leave His Excellency, the Governor, so that he will appear in my speech. Because happily enough, His Excellency decided that the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Development will represent him. I think I will explain that later. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, when the information came to me, um, I can come and say, I believe that the Ngwandari community did not make a mistake. They didn't make a mistake because For God so loved the world, as most of my Christian brothers will say, the Gumai nation, through the Longko, conferred on me the title of Longmar, meaning Sarkin Noma. Again, with all humility, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Plateau State, the humble gentleman that he is, in his own wisdom, before I went outside the shores of Plateau State, met me the special, his special advisor on agriculture. 
and through the instrumentality of the political machine of Plato State, we always want to practice what our leader does. If there is anything anybody will say about Barista, Barista Simon Bakola Long, in the positive, the number one thing you will say is that this is a man of humility. This is a humble person. This is somebody that doesn't want to blow his trumpet because according to him and by my personal discussion with him, God knows his heart, God knows what he has for his people, and God knows what he has for Plato State. Because that institution alone supervises across the length of this country 33 research and training colleges, equal to the status of a university. This is what the instrumentality of Plateau politics has given me. I'm saying that because we have to be very, very sincere to ourselves. Be that as it may. At that position, what have we been able to bring to the people? And I want people to really know what we have been able to bring to the people. All to the benefit of the Engas people. And seriously enough, the Engas and the Kanan people, of course, with the permission of the Longamai, they are expected to be following us from behind. Now, already Lalo has initiated this project for you. I'm talking in the area of agriculture. More so, he has asked me, what can you do about Acha? Anybody that is aware of what is happening in the Biram land in Riom right now, we have brought our research institute in Riom to research into Acha production. We have brought our research institute from Ibadan. They are researching into vegetable production. And I think what I need to do is to bring them to Ngwa here to spend at least one month studying and understanding the rudiments of horticultural crops. I mean this mango you're talking about, this banana you're talking about, this lemon you're talking about. By January, I assure you, they will come here. I'll station them here. I'll make sure that they receive all the samples, go back and make sure. But this is because I have been challenged as a leader. Let us, for God's sake, differentiate between who is your boy or who is your junior brother or who is your elder. Let me confess here. I was Lalong senior. I was a senior in secondary school. By the mechanism of secondary schoolhood, you send your junior. So he happened to be somebody I've also sent. And I have brought them. Tell my minister that I have brought them. The only condition he gave is that he wants you to establish an orchard. So that as we are going along, once we put this 300 today, tomorrow we put another 300, next tomorrow you will now have a plantation. And when you have a plantation, we will make a report to the Federal Department of Agriculture, which is in charge of mechanization. I will try and see if we can give you one meal so that you will be able to be processing your palm oil yet. Again, we have brought in some facilities for you to look. It's not just to farm, but for you to farm rightly. So we have brought our experts. When you go through the stand, they will educate you on what you need to do in order to make sure you have a good harvest. They will be here up to evening time. But the team I'm going to send from Ibadan, I'm also going to send an extension agent so that we'll organize a small lecture for people who want to go to farm. You people don't have to say wala wala. You go straight to the point. And it's because you know that this government is a government of faithful people. That's why you decided to come and celebrate with us today. Please give them a round of applause for that. So, we have brought a message of peace from the Agricultural Research Council. We have brought a message of peace from His Excellency, the Governor of Plateau State. We have brought a message of peace from our people in Abuja put together. Because I decided I must come here and speak on behalf of all the federal appointees. In Plateau State, the mandate is, let us try as much as possible to respect each other.
The chief judge, Mr. Gideon Dam, enlightened the competitors that they will be looking out for the best improved variety, the quality of crop, or with livestock, the packaging and categories will be based on the grains, tubers, foods and livestock presented. The traditional trip entertained the guests while the judges inspected the items presented. Now I quite prices I quite the best overall price. Uh, follow up of our overall price. The command third overall, of overall price. Good means the best, the second and the third. Duka duka. If the man come and come and go so I see the man and nation not can get my mutani and chewa send down but in particular have the best land area in Nigeria. But then in the I feel a plateau no me should come over. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a It's made up of the chicken itself, the local beans, the pepper, the spices that they can talk about to them, use it to them. Then this is the pepper that I use to eat that, to eat that other meat. It's found with pepper, part with uh, maggi, to eat with that too. 
This is the this is the ambassador I can use and that or that in Tugali to go along with that means. And this is the one I'm going to wear. We call it the Asa Amora. Just in form of the way you make the Amora, so you're going to make it self for with your own bed. Only the difference is you're going to make it as that white become the technical agent to make it look like this. It's only as well a word for norms. That was good. Then, then this is the talk. Uh, that is money talk call. My money talk call. <laughs> this is when I'm being cast. We call it the, the, just, just like a form of just you make the, the way you make cake, local cake. That's what we use to get this other one. We call it fine cake. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I'm being done. And this is the uh, talk about. That's the way you do it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You uh, That's what we have for at this point. Thank you so much. Uh, guests, this is display here. What the forum is doing, we have a cooperative that there is money that we give to our local farmers here as a soft loan. And all this thing is generated from your support of opening of this is here today that we still put it back into the forum as a cooperative to bring out our farmers from poverty. Thank you for your support. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Organizers, state government representatives, royal fathers, invited guests, partners, participants and guests all spoke and assured the community of their readiness to work and contribute to the development of agriculture. And they were there ushered to the stand where the local delicacies were displayed and they donated as a way of support. My is to say thank you for honoring this occasion. If you have a son who has looked around his environment and know that agriculture is the mainstay of our people generally, and he is able to package the 
agriculture here to raise competition among our youths. It is something to drive them out of the white collar job because today it is a fact that agriculture is the mainstay of all countries, including Nigeria. I'm a farmer myself. I'm very pleased with what I've seen here. And I will encourage our youths to key into his vision and not wait for white collar opportunities. So, AG, I want to congratulate you for your vision and plead to all our all our allies to bring home any trade that will give our youth jobs. So my prayers will be all those who are able to visit or to attend this occasion to get back home in peace and may the Lord bless you all. Thank you very much for coming. I have grown, I grew up in this village. So I have known that our people are agrarian farmers. We grew up and we were trained in school by the process of the farms. God has given me the position today. I have traveled across the breadth and length of this world. I have seen the development of other countries. And I have realized agriculture is the only stay of Nigerian economy. In this part of the country or state, we don't have oil. We don't have deposit of solid mineral. What we have is agriculture. We have young men who are out of schools. They have not gone to school. And we are privileged that the present governor has been able to give us a road that nobody ever thought of it. A major road network. He has deployed national grid to this village. He has given us all what we require for development. So the next thing we need to do is to empower people with what they are having competitive advantage of, which is agriculture. So it is in this wisdom we believe that the only way we can help our people is to enlighten them more. Agriculture today is more of business than the peasantry way of farming. So how do you encourage them? You have to encourage them in terms of information in terms of access to finance, in terms of access to even new technology, in terms of access even to the best agricultural practices. And they cannot do that except people that are privileged like us, that have traveled across the world to deploy this technology, to deploy this idea, to deploy this uh, improved seeds to this community. And it is on that note that we felt the only way we can do it to have this kind of competition. We instituted this agricultural show is to create competition amongst them, to make sure that they comp could continually compete every year with their products. And by doing that, they will be able to now access uh, market, they will be able to access improved seedlings, they will be able to access improved technology in terms of farming. And you can see it by yourself. A lot of them have won the prizes. This is the kind of encouragement we want. Again, we want to make sure that this village become an economic hub. It become an agricultural hub in Plateau State because we have brought in people that are off-takers. Now they are here. They are buying this farm produce. None of them will take this thing home. And then the, the economy, the money that they will spend will stay in this village. By extension, it will increase the economy of this village. It will increase the capacity of this village people. I think that is the, the, the import of this uh, agri show. This place has become actually a model because it's been long we had agriculture on the plateau as a government. And uh, unfortunately, because of uh, certain issues, we have not been able. We met attempt twice to have um, an agriculture in the state, but it couldn't hold. And so for me, since we have something that is done in a community, it becomes necessary for me since we have it at the state level. And I see they are doing it here. Uh, it is a prototype. But I want to commend the initiative that something has been done here to showcase the rich potential of agriculture in this community called Guang uh, uh, Daddy. Um, from the look of things, you will all agree with me that they have the potential to produce both crops and livestock. 
and uh, that will tell you that uh, we can engage our youth in prospective activities like agriculture because you all agree with me the importance of agriculture in national development in Nigeria particularly more than 70 percent of the populace actually find their livelihood in agriculture and so for them to uh, put in their energy on a sector that can address a lot of issues like the issue of unemployment, the issue of food, and as well providing raw materials to the agro allied industries. I think to me, it is highly commendable. I'm so happy to come here, and I also want to appreciate the fact that the Agri Research Council of Nigeria is doing well under the leadership of uh, Professor Sharabutu as well. I can see a lot of display there. Uh, you are here. Uh, so we want to thank the support we are receiving from the national to also encourage the community. We know it is starting at this particular level, just as you had. Last year it wasn't up to this level. This year is a little bit an upgrade over last year. The implication of the next year is going to be better than this year. And so a journey of 1,000 might begin with a step. So I know that in no distant time, maybe in the next 10 years, I know that both international uh, visitors or investors will come here to also appreciate what we do. Well, it gladdened my heart to have one of us that is the son of the soil that God has uplifted him to a point that he always flashed back. The flashback mechanism in him, it is what is now giving up the future hope with the youth coming up over him. Somebody in person of Dr. Cyril Senyel, the Accountant General of Plateau State, this happened to be his home, his house, his village, where all of us grow and come together. With these privileges, he decided to move forward because we in this town, we are predominantly farmers. That is our occupation, the occupation of our fathers. It is through farming we are able to sponsor ourselves to go to higher education. Now that the, now that the world is been moving technologically, in a dynamic way. So the technology that we see outside, he decided to bring it home so that we can advance in terms of our farming mechanism. I'm happy to be at the second Gwanda Business Economic Forum, a second edition where, uh, as you can see from the background, our sons and daughters who are agri and uh, farmers, they have brought their their products to showcase and then to make this forum a rich one. So it's a thing of joy and it's a pleasure that I'm here. Uh, I am the Secretary General of the Gmai Unity and Development Organization. That is the mother body uh, that takes care of matters that deals with the Gmai people worldwide so that's i come on that under that platform and i'm happy to be here like i said initially agriculture is a mainstay as we all know uh, the federal government in its policy it has tried to say that uh, it encourages the young people to go into agriculture into farming uh, because that is a new oil we have uh, and this agri show is one of those things uh, our son one of our illustrious son Dr. Cyril Senil has put on ground. Like I said initially, it is the second edition. My advice to the young people is that uh, we don't have white collar jobs anymore. Uh, those white collar jobs are, are not out there. So it is uh, a, a clearing call on them that they should go back to agriculture. That is what God has blessed us with. That is what God has blessed our land with. And uh, if we're able to leverage on what this kind of show, it will in no small measure build our potential and our capacity to feed ourselves and of course to feed the nation. I am highly elated. This is my first time attending this agri show and I'm really, really impressed. Congratulations, sir. I believe with the next one coming, we are going to be involved 100% to ensure agriculture comes to stay in Plateau State. Just as the Royal Feather mentioned, there are no enough jobs, but I can assure you 
with agriculture, a lot of our youth will be taken out of poverty. I'm a mineral expert. I also believe by next year, we will also try to inculcate a little bit of mineral opportunities with the Agric Show. I would like to thank our chief host for inviting us this very, very special program. And I wish all our invited guests the best and successful journey when they get, get back home. Um, I want to commend most especially uh, Dr. Cyril our, for this vision. And I just, um, I'm quite impressed by what I see because the opportunity of what you're doing is creating a market. And once market is created, the issue is people will come and find you, no matter what. And in my space, DG of public-private partnership, um, infrastructure, people will create the necessary infrastructure to be able to access these markets. So I just want to commend you and the entire community, most especially to keep on doing what they're doing, to keep on improving on this. I'm hoping that the next uh, few years we would see this to be, you know, um, a showcase that will be a, a, a living example that will be competitive among other localities similarly. But um, I really want to appreciate and continue doing what you're doing. Thank you and well done. We are happy we could uh build this uh, bridge to improve the Gondade people uh, transport condition and uh, economic condition and uh, we also thank uh, Plato State Government could give us this uh, opportunity, opportunity to, to, to do something for the Gondade people and they trust us and give us this work we thank you and uh, also thank uh, uh, and daddy people do our work, give us a lot of support and help, so we could uh, push this program much faster. So uh, thank you, people. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, this is my product. I brought this here, and thank God they have seen it. Say it's very good, and I advise my my village people also. I encourage them to go into farming, to go into yam farming, because it's very important. And this thing can sustain their life in the village. And it makes them to understand that farming is a great thing. I feel very happy. I'm honored to be here because I've never been here uh, for something like this. This is my first time I'm from this place, but this is my first time of attending such a thing. And I really appreciate it and I'm very happy about it. Farming is very good. I farmed before, despite I'm no longer farming now, but I feel farming is the best thing to do in our country. The way the things, things are going in this country now, we feel farming is the best thing for every woman to do. There is no man, there is no woman that will say she cannot farm. Farming, farming is for everybody. And the challenges some women are finding in farming is issue of fertilizer, which if the government will assist us with uh, fertilizer so that our parents will be able to farm and get very good products like these watermelons. Some of the challenges we women find in uh, farming is at times we have babies who go to farm and come back and cook food before you come back you'll be very tired so at times some breastfeeding mothers will carry their baby with them to the farm and go and put them under the song things are very difficult so it is not easy but if you want to eat you must work for it I advise would be for the youth to really key into this thing you know it's very laudable and I sincerely wish that anytime anybody has opportunities like this, you bring it home for the youth particularly to take advantage of it. So I wish they would key into it. With my stay with the youth and in the hinterlands, the critical issue that we have problem with in improving agriculture is improved seeds. I wish government will come in and help us bring improved seeds. For Thank cases you. like uh, fertilizer and, uh, and uh, chemicals, we can manage, but improve seeds is very critical. 
I hope that the government will look into it. These are issues that are beyond us. I want to assure you that if there were more security, you would have seen more here. But many, many people cannot even go to the farms. They are not encouraged to go because of insecurity. So, I mean, uh, media, please help us talk to government so that we do. You know, in, in the communities, we have local vigilantes, we have our local securities, but we can just do as much. Winners of the competition were called out and handed over their respective prizes, and they all appreciated and promised to do better next year. We are presenting this to you as the best farmer in rice with tag a granite with tag number 153. Congratulations. We are presenting to you the best the gift for the best uh, farm in uh, Bambara North. Congratulations. <laughs> Present this gift to you as the best plantain producer. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you are best in the year. I believe what you are receiving here would make you make more effort and produce more yam. Thank you. Best in fish. We are known for fish, and therefore I'm not surprised to have seen him among those who rear fish here to be best in fish. I believe now that we are even not getting the, the national one, we'll be able to supplement. Well done. So I want to congratulate you for being best in watermelon, and we pray that you will produce more and more that all the people of that will get from you. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, the Secret Guest, please, may I uh, invite Chief Lawi. The motivation, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. Thank you. To even to congratulate my fellow brother, the youth, and I'm always to help him. God will tell to protect you in Jesus' name. <laughs> On behalf of the Zibua Hadri show here, taking place here, our pleasure and honor to give you the rice as the best runner up of the Hadri show. Congratulations. Thank you. present this award to the general winner of this great occasion with the hope that by the time we come next year we will hear more notable achievements in this particular agricultural sector. Once more congratulations. beautiful package. I am Hilda Holmes and Phantom Scene. Take care.